Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. This is a new Java FX video tutorial session. In this session, we are going to do some animation with the Java FX controls, or you can say on the node. Right now, you can see the running example and the demonstration of uh, animation. So, I have applied some animation on the pan labels buttons on stage. So, all these stuff I will explain in this video tutorial session how you can implement this animation in your JavaFX controls to enhance the beauty of your JavaFX application. Let's get started. So agenda of this tutorial is we're going to apply some uh, animation on the JavaFX controls. So to do that we have to uh, use AnimateFX API which is a third party JavaFX API and uh, with the help of this API we will apply different kinds of uh, animation effect on JavaFX node. So guys, let's get it started. First of all, we have to download the AnimateFX API from this given link. The same link given in the description box for you. Just go and visit on this link and uh, just download the jar so this is the maven repository link so here you will uh, see the both option if you're working with the maven project so add this dependency if you want simply a jar file so just click on this place jar will be downloaded now we will see all the implementation in the netbeans ide 8.0 with java 8 so this is my project ready in this netbeans ide this is fxml based project so first I will show you the FXML that I am using and the arrangements that I have made for this example. So I have chosen some controls like a pan label buttons to apply some animation effects on it. And to do that we have to assign some FX ID for each control. So first is pan and the label. So I'm giving the label as FX ID the title and the, this is my second pan. So I'm giving it ID, the FX ID, welcome pan. And after that we have the label on it. So I'm assigning, we will apply the animation effect on all these controls. So we need the FX ID inside the control. And this is the button. So I'm assigning this a new FX ID, reset button, and uh, there is the animate button. So uh, also for this we have one action handler method associated with it. So we will see some animation on button click, and uh, we will see some animation on load. So I have made the arrangement according to that on this FX ML. That's it and now we are going inside the controller file there we have done the actual coding before this first i will show you the on load animation so you can apply this animation on the stage loading it's very simple and straightforward a simple line of code is required to do that so we will load this stage the all content inside this stage with animation effect to do that we have to write a simple line of code but we need to add a jar first that we have downloaded so this is animate fx 1.2 jar and we have added in this project in the build path now we are ready to write the code simple using a the package name animate fx so we creating the instance of that class and then we calling the method to start the animation so this is the package location animate fx dot animation dot and these are the uh, available animation effects so you can choose any one of that right now I'm using bounce in effect and uh, this is the bounce in class so also we have to pass the node right now we are trying to apply the animation effect on the root so we have applied now finally we have to call the play method this is the important part of this to start the animation you have to call this method now take a clean build and we will run this 
here we go so you can see this is bouncing effect but uh, this is coming very fast so it is not making visible let me run it again now you can see this this is the bouncing effect inside the stage for all controls now I will do a little bit change in effect so I'm selecting a different effect like uh, roll in so the stage controls the base pan will be up here like roll in effect so applied and now checking clean build and uh, here we go now see this this is the roll in effect applied successfully on the root one more time see this at the time of loading the stage is appearing with the roll in effect also we can apply the animation on rest of the controls on button click so now we will see the button click uh, animation effect how to apply this is very simple uh, declare the FX ID add that FX symbol So looking for the pan so first we are going to apply on the pan so this is first pan for all these controls uh, we have uh, declared the reference variable and the FX ID so we can use at the time of button click so these FX IDs are defined in the FX ML now we are ready to use it, use it inside the uh, button click so we have to write the simple code because we will press one button and uh, this code will be executed which is inside this handle button action method so animate effects dot animation and uh, these are the available animation effects so uh, first we will choose pulse and uh, this is applied on the first pan And uh, there is another pan, so I will apply the different kind of effect on this. So first effect applied on the welcome pan, and uh, the effect applied on the welcome text. But uh, I will change this effect. So I want to demonstrate you the more effects that is very uh, nice. So bounce in effect is uh, much better with the welcome text. Also we will apply the same kind of uh, coding for uh, the other controls for the title pan and the title text. And uh, we'll, we will change the effect from this place. So flash is okay. and. Uh, for the title text so I'm going to select a different animation effect so here we going to select the role in it okay shake shake is much better for the title so we have applied uh, the effects on the controls but one more important thing we have to start these effects so we have to call the play method don't forget to call the play method for each statement we have to call the play method this way okay we have done and now taking a clean build for run now we are good to go to run this example see this the rolling effect that we have applied initially now I'm going to click look at this effects are applied successfully and looking awesome see this also we can uh, uh, apply the effects on button as well so one control is left we have used pulse bounce in flash and shake but for the button I think rolling effect is much better so I will apply the rolling effect in this reset button 
we have to pass the node inside this okay little bit change roll in for the welcome text for the button roll roll in effects okay applied successfully taking clean build to run this here we go wow it's awesome rolling effect on the base root now click this this button and you will see the effects are working properly and uh, looking awesome definitely you will uh, like to apply some effect in your java fx application controls so guys this is the whole uh, process to apply the animation effect with the help of animate fx api in your java fx application i hope you guys found this tutorial useful please like this tutorial or guys please subscribe my channel also press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time for now thanks for watching cool it help